and welcome back. As you can see, I'm currently working on the left spar and trying to get it ready to attach the left leading edge, which you can see there on the table stand behind me there. For those who have followed me and who have been watching these videos, uh, you know I've, I, I started working on this left spar when I was living in Arizona about a year and a half ago, and that was the last time I've touched this. I got it to the point where I riveted, all, or I'm sorry, I clecoed all of the ribs to the spar, uh, and I think I had riveted a couple of the, the first spars, or I'm sorry, first rivets to the spar, but then left everything there as I started moving to Oregon. And again, that was about a year and a half ago. So now I'm finally getting back into it, and I tell you, I missed it. This is a lot of fun. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. I appreciate you stopping by. If you get a chance, hit that subscribe button and that alarm bell, and you'll get notifications anytime I put out these videos. I'm going to try to put these out at least every other week or so, just to kind of show the progress that I've made. Um, but feel free to stop in, take a look around. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, feel free to leave them in the messages below, and I try to get back to those responses as, as quickly as I can. So what you saw, like I said, it was riveting finally the ribs to the spar, and now I'm uh, installing all of the bolts. Um, the Both the upper and lower hole for each rib uh, has a bolt associated with it. Most of them are, they're orientated a certain way. Um, and as you can see here, I'm uh, getting everything put in place. I actually messed up when I left Arizona and actually put the bolts in the wrong way in many of the holes. So that's what you see me doing here is going back and, and reinserting them the correct way. Is there a difference? I couldn't tell you as far as engineering wise, but Van shows them a specific way. So I went back and corrected those. And now I'm just uh, attaching the uh, rivet, the flush mounted rivet on the one of the two holes, both on the upper and lower ends of the, of the ribs here. Um, the other of the two is going to be for attaching the, um, I believe this portion is for where the fuel tank is going to go in. So part of my fear of getting back to work is, as you see in this picture here, while I was riveting the ribs in place to the spar, the rivet gun walked on me and created this smiley that you see. There's a few of them that were uh, not nearly as bad as this, where the smiley was just on the edge of the crown, uh, but as you saw in that, it was right in the middle of the crown of the rivet, so I replaced it, and as you can see, this is the result afterwards. Now, the reason I'm not going through and fixing all of them that have you know, even the smallest a bit of a, of a smiley is I don't want to risk putting a larger hole in that spar. And this is a sheet from the technical advisor that I had stopped by as I said, this has been a long time since I've actually done metal work, and I wanted to make sure that I'm setting my rivets correctly, especially with the ribs attaching to the spar. So before I closed up the, uh, the spar by putting the left leading edge in place where you couldn't see uh, or access or reset the rivets if needed, I had him come out, and this is the form that he created for that inspection. And this is actually the second time that he's inspected my plane since I've been here in Oregon. And it's a great thing to do as you're building to have someone give you a second set of eyes, to have them come out and take a look, you know, for lack of better terms, judge your work, which you should want to do because your life is on the line with this, obviously. So it's very important to have others who are experienced come out and take a look and just, hey, you should probably replace these. And that's what he did. He, he pointed out two that uh, had the smileys pretty significantly into the crown of the rivets and said, hey, replace those. The other ones, don't worry. Like you said, you don't want to risk expanding the hole in the spar. So that's what I did. So now I'm just doing some of the finishing work on the leading edge. Here I'm getting the lens ready for uh, installation. Basically just has you set it in place, measure about three quarters of an inch outside of the opening and mark that off. And that's going to be where you cut it. And, and I haven't done that yet because you want to make sure that the that your your shop and the atmosphere that these lenses are in are warm. Uh, I believe it's somewhere around 75 to 80 degrees is what you want. That way, it minimizes the chance the, the it minimizes how brittle these uh, lenses are and minimizes the chance that it'll shatter or break or chip as you're cutting. So that's 
why I haven't done anything with them yet. It's still been relatively cold. We're typically at about the 60s. Um, so waiting for it to warm up before I actually do anything. But I'm just getting everything ready here. <clears throat> and then, uh, as I said, you, you mark off that three-quarter inch line. And then that's going to be where, once you cut that at that line, then you'll uh, install the brackets that you use, two-sided tape, and then rivet to the lens to hold it in place once you get ready to install. Now here I'm just working on the um, aileron uh, support brackets, inner and outer. This is actually a safety bulletin one. Um, it's got a thicker mounting bracket that holds it in place. Uh, so that's another point. As you're building, always maintain uh, some semblance or idea of what the current um, safety bulletins are that are coming out. I've actually got two that I have to work on. Uh, this one, which was for both aileron support, bra inner support brackets. And then also on the bottom of the tail cone, there's actually a flex point where they've had some RV14s develop a crack. And so I got the kit for it. I just need to install it. So again, as you're building, just keep an eye on Van's uh, website, looking for any safety bulletins and making sure you're keeping up to date as you're building. It's always easier to put the safety bulletins in place while you're building than to come back and do it afterwards. So that's, that's kind of what I'm doing here. So as I said, it's been about a year and a half since I've done any metal work. Um, the, the video from two weeks ago where I finished up the leading edge and this one. And my goal is to get the wings done by the end of this year, um, maybe even by the end of summer, and then hopefully start getting my fuselage kit on order. Because right now it's about, I think, a 10 week uh, waiting period from when they when they start putting it together to when you actually get it uh lead time that's what the word i was looking for so i would like to get that ordered so i can start in the spring working on the fuselage um, we'll see how that goes but that's kind of the plan now here i'm working on the aft spar for the the wing um, this is will attach to the aft portion of all the the ribs there and there's several doubling plates that you have to put in place where the mounting brackets are, where the hinges are, things like that for the aileron support brackets and, and things to just strengthen it in certain spots. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm drilling all the holes, match drilling the holes for the brackets and the doublers. And then at one point, I've got to cut out the hole uh, that the push rod will come through to uh, actuate the, the aileron. Um, so that's kind of where I'm, uh, where I'm at now. Uh, my next video will basically show finishing up that aft spar and getting the wing ready to put the leading edge onto. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out here again. For those who have been following, thank you. I appreciate you. For those who are new, welcome. I'm glad to see you here. If you have any comments or questions, by all means, reach out to me. I love interacting with folks about this build. It's a great build, and I look forward to seeing you all in the future.